another one of my challenges has just been around, you know, just helping our company grow over time. And so, um, you know, every time we hit a, a new level, it's like, okay, how are we going to grow the business now from this level to the next level? And what, what got you to this level won't necessarily get you to the next level. And so, um, as a leader, then I'm, I'm constantly having to, um, I don't want to say reinvent myself necessarily, but it's like I've got to, I've got to, okay, I've got to gain a new skill set. I have to go learn something new. I've got to figure something new out. I've got to, I've got to work through that process in order to figure out, okay, how are we going to get from here to this next place? And so, um, and that's hard sometimes because that that forces me to have to learn some stuff that I may or may not really want to learn. Um, I may not want to learn about these other things, but I know they're needed for the organization in order to be able to get where it needs to go to. Uh, and so, and as I've gotten farther into my career, um, I used to be heavily involved in the technical doing of the business. And now I've, I've had to pull out of that and put other people in charge of the, of that part of it, even though I really enjoy doing those things. And now, and now I've, I found myself studying other areas of business that aren't necessarily my first thing, but, but they're, they help the business, you know, help me learn what I need to learn in order, in order to get the business going in the direction it needs to go to. And so, um, it's been real challenging for me because, uh, um, sometimes when you're working, you know, your work's not always doing everything you want to do the way you want to do it. Um, sometimes we just got to, you know, buckle down and, and learn some things you may not want to learn, um, in order to get to where you want to go to. And so, uh, that's been, that's been a challenge for me. It's, uh, it's not, it's not always the easiest, uh, thing to do. One of my main concerns around all that is that um, I, I don't want to be the lid to the organization. Uh, and so um, I, I had this, this really fundamental thought process that, that um, John Maxwell taught me through some of his books, just, uh, just called The Law of the Lid. So in his book, The 21 uh, Laws of Leadership, um, you know, you talk about the, the, the lid, the, the leader, the leader, whatever, whatever lid the leader has, that's the lid for the whole organization. And so, if you want to, you know, if you want to grow the organization, then you gotta, you gotta raise the lid on the for the leader, so the organization will be able to grow up. And so, um, and on top of all that, the leader is only going to be able to attract um, uh, leaders below him uh, at whatever leadership level he's got. And so, leaders, you know, they're, they're, leaders are not attracted. Uh, really good leaders are not, are not attracted to people that are that have a lid that's lower than they have. <laughs> and so, so if you want to be able to grow the organization and you want to have and be able to continue to attract leaders, you've got to constantly be raising your lid uh, in the process. And so, so one of my things is like I don't want to be the lid in the organization. So I've got to, I'm constantly having to challenge myself then to grow and develop um, and to learn new stuff so that I'm not the lid. Because um, as soon as I get to that place where I, I'm not willing to do anymore, then as a leader, I got I got to step aside. It's time for me to move to, to move aside and let someone else take the leadership um, mantle.